guys, it's your girl Bad on BB here, and today, and today I am doing this smoky eye look inspired by one of my favorite YouTube eye tutorialists, and her name is Ann Nook. She's like this girl from Sweden, and just like I followed her for years. I just love how she's able to really zoom in and like give me the tutorial. Like when I watch tutorials, I'm not necessarily watching skin tone. I'm watching how they apply the makeup, what they're using, and she's really good at showing me step by step in a way that I can understand it. So I try to do that for you in this tutorial. Keep watching and let me know what you think. I had to start off with these eyebrows and I'm taking my MAC Warm Palette and using the Espresso shade, the darkest brown shade, and just a very thin type of synthetic brush that I probably got from like Walgreens ages ago. And that's what I'm gonna be using to fill in my brow. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Thank ya, love ya. And then after I fill it in with my shadow, which I like using my shadow because it gives me the most natural look. I don't really like a on fleek brow like some people. And then I just take my spoolie, which I'm using the back of my Wet n Wild pencil brush, which has a spoolie. And that's what I'm using to just comb the dark brow shadow all over. Before I clean up the brow with some LA Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I think I'm using medium beige. That's what I tend to like for my eyebrows and it's pretty on point with the shade of my skin. And just playing with the concealer is gonna whip it so I get a really nice eyebrow shape look. I usually don't do all of this for everyday look but this is a Valentine's Day smoky eye look. I wanted it to be a little bit more defined, so that's why I'm going in with my concealer so hard. Of course, once I get the perfect shape brow, I'm going to clean up that concealer above and below the eye with the fluffy brush. Just fluffing away that, and then I'll take some Laura Mercier Vanilla Kiss Eye Color Stick, and I'm using this as an eyeshadow primer. I'm just applying that on my eye and then blending out. I would use my fingers to blend it out, but I just use that same fluffy brush I use to blend out my concealer because I have on long fingernails and ain't nobody got time for cleaning under those nails, okay? So taking the Amrezy palette, this is my brand new baby. I'm using OG as my primary crease color. And since this is going to be a dramatic dark smoky eye, there will be several crease colors. So take OG with a pretty medium fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to blend that out into the main part of my crease. First, I actually used three fluffy brushes because I used three transition colors. But the last transition color that I used for my outer V, you'll see that I used a special brush. Next, I'm taking 1988 with a different fluffy brush and I'm going underneath that OG color and just blending it with the OG even more. So I'm gonna take it lower than I took OG to add more depth into my little small eyeballs. After that, I take Yugo and I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush, but it's an angled fluffy brush. And that's what I use to really get into that outer V and take my third transitional color even lower than I took that 1988 and definitely lower than OG. This is going to be what really adds the depth before I do my smoky eye. And you'll see that Yugo even has a purplish brownish effect perfect for pre-black as of course I am doing a black smoky eye but the key to the smoky eye is the blend 
So I'm taking that original fluffy brush that I used to blend OG and I'm just currently blending that top again even more because it has to be perfect. Then I take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel and that's what I'm going to be using as a base for my black eyeliner. So just use any gel eyeliner that you might have as a base because when you're doing a black smoky eye and you really want that shadow to stick, you got to have some base on it. And the black base is going to make the black shadow pop. So yes, take any synthetic. I'm using like a synthetic probably like a pencil brush it's like a synthetic pencil brush and that's what I'm using to apply some of that gel eyeliner and that's what's going to give me a beautiful black base to apply that black eyeshadow with then I'll just blend it out with that Taking the BK Black from Amrezy's palette and a small eyeshadow brush because I have small eyes and I don't want to overdo it with the black. Now I'm applying that black eyeshadow. Pay attention to how I'm patting the eyeshadow in. You do not want a lot of black fallout even though we will be cleaning it. I don't have any facial makeup on yet. And then I'm taking that Yugo fluffy brush for the outer corner and I'm just blending the black with the Yugo even more and then I will just take the other fluffy brushes and gradually blend to get the perfect gradient I took that one that I used for 1988 and I went over that after I went over Yugo then I took the one that I used to blend OG and then I blended OG at the top yet again and don't pay attention to if you see any like creasing because my eyes get really oily and they're small because all I do is just add a little bit of moisture to my black shadow and I just pat it in later so you'll see the end look is actually much better after I apply my face then I will attack the lower line because it's a smoky eye and I want my bottom to be smoked out too so I'm taking my Maybelline eye studio tattoo eyeliner it's a gel eyeliner and that's what I'm using to line the bottom part of my waterline and then I'm taking pencil brushes and blending out the bottom of the eye to smoke it out so I take a pencil brush and apply some black eyeliner the BK black or black powder the BK black powder underneath and then I'm gonna take Yugo again and drag from that outer V to the under V. I'm taking Yugo and then I added some more OG underneath that too because I wanted a really warm smoked out effect and that's why my eyes pop so much in the end when you see this because I really added a lot of gradient into my smokiness under the eye and it just really complements my eye shade really well because it's so warm. So after I added a lash, I finished my face. I did not show you all all of the details of what I used on my face, but I will leave that in a blog post at thebeautyandtheeats.com. So make sure you check my description box because that's where all the details will be, darling. I didn't think anybody wanted to do, see me do my full face again. I've done that enough. Um, maybe I'll do a separate tutorial. Leave comments below if you want to see a separate tutorial on how I do my face. But I didn't do it the typical way I do it with my products anyway. So I just figured I would just save y'all some time, okay? Nevertheless, you can kind of see how I'm doing my things. And you can leave me comments and info on that below. Okay guys, this is my finished Valentine's Day smoky eye look featuring the Amrezy palette. This is inspired by one of my favorite eye look YouTubers named Ann Nook. I wanted to see if I could do it for the colored girls. 
and I think it's a slay. I think the colors still match for me even though I have a darker skin tone and these lashes give me so much life. These are Kiss Veil. They're called Naked Drama Collection. Got these from Walmart, or actually got these from Walgreens today, and they're just balls. I am loving the sexy, sultry, smoky eye look. It's one of my classics. A lot of this stuff, everything but the Amrezy palette was basically drugstore brand. And the only thing I probably would trade up on a regular basis, I've been feeling the CC cream so much, but I would probably just go with my full face foundation, which would be my Maybelline Fit Me Anyway, which is a drugstore brand. Um, High-end brand, I'll probably rock with uh, Hourglass, the Cream Stick Foundation, Fenty Mastic, or, um, NARS, uh, NARS Sheer Glow is always a plus, or their regular one is really good. So anyways, of course there's no community without the U and the I, so tell me what you think, leave a comment below, and if you want to ask a question, be sure to reach out on my social media, I'm very available to you, okay? Happy Valentine's Day, one of my favorite loves is you, baby, and it's your girl Bad Aunt BB, over now. I didn't just kiss my hands because, you know, gloss, gloss. You want to see more looks? I hope you subscribe and share this with your friend if they need some inspiration. Love you. <laughs>